Oh shit. That is not how I thought this conversation was gonna go. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm confused. This is your all powerful fifth dimensional stalker? No. I don't know who this is. I'm sure that you, Cara Danvers, are Oh my god, yeah. Let's let's just yell that. Okay, I only took on that other form and sophisticated accent to impress you, but it worked. You caught me. You tricked me. <laughs> I can't use any of my powers except to help those whom I have wronged. Oh, how sad for you. Yes. <laughs> wow, that's a terrible thing. Your best friend How is he gonna fix it? She is your enemy. You hid the truth. Way to rub it in. You let her find out from that sadist, Lex. I could send you back in time. Wouldn't you like to be able to tell Lena that you're Supergirl on your own terms? Wouldn't you like to see what the world would look like? To see what the world would look like if she can control the narrative. That does not seem good. I'm required to give you this recording of me saying my name backwards in case you ever need to banish me to my fifth dimension, Come which I know that <laughs> Uses it right away. If I told Lena that I was Supergirl before Lex, maybe she would have reacted differently. I mean, isn't that worth a try? Changing history to save a friendship? Yeah. Aw, but the fact that she's considering changing everything. I don't know if I have what it takes to stop her. Kara. She sure wouldn't want to hurt Lena. I kind of trust him. <laughs> if you really think that this is your best chance to set things right, with how can they get him to come back? Thanks, Zook. You changed your mind. Yes, I'm still working on eavesdropping. It's a problem. <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, they're in their happy place. Oh my god. <laughs> their happy Magical. place is paintballing. Once you have confronted Lena, you will come back. We will watch from your loft and the safety of your couch. If you are comfortable with the domino effect, I that's kind of cool that they can undo it. Which point it will become reality? <gasps> Get your seatbelt back on. I'm gonna land this plane. Huh. Oh shit! Oh, this is a good one. Mm. Oh my God, Cara! Mm. Cara! She could have told her there. Don't mess it up. Mm. Oh god. To be honest, I didn't have much the wig and everything. To begin with. I just don't think any of them are trusted. The world has made you cynical because you've been betrayed so many times by your mother, by your brother. This is what she should have said and now a long me. time ago. What are you talking about? I'm Supergirl. Hmm. Oh boy. Um, I need to catch up. Oh, there she is. She went to Metropolis. Oh my god. <gasps> Sam. I want to see Sam. So, Kara is Supergirl? Yeah, I know. My head's kind of spinning. <laughs> she told her. <laughs> oh, I miss Rain. I named my dog Rain. Which was the real Kara. Mm. And if the real Kara thought I was a villain, then maybe that's all I really am. Mm. You made Kryptonite to split me from Rain and to save my life. You were never I the love that they brought her back. I really need to do Wish Kara could have been the one that told her. this timeline might never forgive me. Agent Liberty poisoned the air with kryptonite. But she'll save me again. Oh, she shit. Wants to, but she'll never make it in time. Oh, because she went to see Sam. She doesn't make it. And she dies. I am so lost without you. Oh. Wow, one little thing can make a huge snowball effect like that. That's crazy. <laughs> that was horrible. Obviously, you don't want to stay dead. No. Gotta undo it. My dual identities made Lena think that she couldn't trust either side of me. I was a hypocrite. So you gotta tell her before. You really do have a god complex. See, there. This fight mm -hmm. is what I'm trying to avoid. Okay. So go back. I need you to find out if there really isn't any kryptonite left. I like how they're literally just watching Supergirl. <laughs> Do you have any more kryptonite? This yeah. is it. Uh -huh. This is the moment okay. that Lena started to distrust Supergirl. This is when I have to tell her. So, okay. yeah. Mm, yeah. You need to say that you asked that as a friend. You once told me Kara Danvers was your hero. I never told you that. I told. It's me, Lena. 
She said it a lot smoother in the last one. I went through that terror alone. I risked my life day after day for weeks because I believed that I was the only one who could be trusted to protect her, to save her. I could have used your help. I would have used your help. Okay, gotta go back to then. I think what she's gonna learn from this is there's many times that it was too late. Shit. Yeah. The world killer started an eclipse yeah. that day. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, no. If Lena doesn't help us fight the world killer soon. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, you're skipping it's a lot. It's all exposition. So much exposition. Well, hold on. Was that mm -hmm. Monel? Yes. So he didn't go back to the future? Nope. Can you snap me in there? I want to get his perspective. Oh shit. He's in this? Oh. You need to leave for your own safety. I, I won't leave my daughter. Oh. I failed her when she was a I girl. do miss I Mono. To fail her again. Was there at least a safe place for you to hide? I finally told Lena I'm Supergirl. Wow. How, uh, how did she take it? Not well. And betrayed her, just like everyone else in her life. It's weird seeing her old suit. <laughs> what do I do? But my mother and the Luthers, they betrayed Lena for their own selfish reasons. They, they wanted to take advantage of her. You lied to, to protect her. It's true. Once you understand but also, you need to respect someone to she'll forgive you. tell them the truth. No matter how many mistakes I've made, you have always forgiven me. Aww. I do miss him. Mm. God, I miss Rain. Damn, no, this isn't you! Mm. Do you really thought you could stop me, Supergirl? <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You did it. You saved Sam. Aww. <gasps> so in that one, Lena dies. Mix it's the interdimensional Wi-Fi. Right after Lena moved to National City. <laughs> you have had a lot of adventures. Oh, they're going back so far. I love how this whole episode is just about Car and Lena's friendship. I hope this means they're gonna make up soon. I'm living for this episode. I can't with the wig though. <laughs> Told it from the very beginning. Yeah. Can't believe I was fooled by a pair of glasses. Don't worry, a lot of people are. <laughs> you're not angry. No, it's incredible. I mean, you're incredible. But, but what's the snowball effect gonna be? Hey, why are you trusting me with such a big secret? You barely know me. Because I know that what you want more than anything is to do good. Imagine what we could do together. A Luther and a Super working together as a team. Mm. If we were partners, we could change the world. After Lena convinced Supergirl to cut the hair of steel and gave her a new suit. The hair of steel. Mixie, can you please take this seriously? Take it seriously, because everybody <laughs> needs a pooper. He's hilarious. That's why we invited Kara. <laughs> what is Supergirl's real name? I hardly see how that's relevant. Citizens have the right to know the name of oh, the Oh shit, so she gets exposed. And plead the fifth. Powerful testimonies in the Aww. trial of Lillian Luther today. The whole world suspected Lena of working with her, but having Supergirl as a partner, it, it gives Lena the credibility. Her last it's too good to be could. true. You knew my father, Pete Lockwood. You're back. Fuck him. My only son, George, they jumped off a roof because they believed that she would save him. What does he do? Kill Lena? Tell me who Supergirl is. And if you have issues with the culture for how I suggest you take it up with Colville. Oh, uh, I already have. Oh, oh God. She should have just said she didn't even know who Supergirl actually was. No, Supergirl, don't do it. So. Supergirl. One hour of breathable oxygen. The uh, clock starts now. <clears throat> <laughs> As if it's a show. <laughs> I imagine this moment. The moment where being Supergirl gets someone I love killed. And I have to push that fear so far down. Or 
Oh my god, I just noticed I, that they I brought Wynn back for this episode. <laughs> Her greatest fear is losing Lena. We're gonna be fine. No, Lena is the one that needs your help right now. We can take care of ourselves. Mm. Because you taught us how. Is she gonna expose who she is? And no one's like, hey, that girl kinda looks like Supergirl. I'm Cara Danvers. It me. I'm Supergirl. I am Supergirl. Good stuff, my dude. So there's pretty much like there's pretty much no, no circumstance in which it works out. So pretty much all this stuff had to happen the way it did. Aww. Just breathe, Lena. Maybe it's time the world knows. <laughs> They're fucking cute. Maybe this this is the timeline to stick with. He and his followers targeted each of Supergirl's friends, including her former employer, Cat Grant. No. no there were no survivors. It doesn't matter when I tell Lena the truth. It always makes things worse. So stick with the normal timeline. I think Lena would be better off if she and I were never friends. No. I bet you she's gonna be way worse off without her. You know what? No thanks. No, nope. <laughs> I don't need to see it. Can Let's go home. I don't want to see it. Please. Pleasure. <gasps> Can't feel the fifth dimension at all. Oh my god. Without my powers. We're stuck here. You better befriend Lena and have her help you. This world sucks! <laughs> Dreamer. There she is. God damn. Aww. What thought with a new face who wouldn't recognize the same old you? This is the guy who tried to make Kara marry him. It's fine, right now because he is reformed. He's changed. He's a new person. I misread the room. I'm gonna be better. <laughs> I hope they bring him back from time to time. People of National City. I regret oh to inform you that the terrorist known as Supergirl is at large. A terrorist? She's working with a full hold up. being capable of mass destruction. Girl, wow. So this is Lena's life if she had never met Kara. My goal is, as it has always been, to protect you from harm. So don't say she'd be better off without you. It drove her mad. She retaliated against Lex, killed him. Took half of National City along with her. Now she rules his left with an iron fist. That must be because Lena tapped into the fifth dimensional energy to use it to power her police robot. And as long oh, as she's crossing the fifth dimension, then you can't access it. So they need to, what, disarm it? Get me the hat. I can make all <laughs> Get this me the hat. Go. What the? <gasps> wow. So she's using a ring and ring. You don't have to do this. I know I don't have to. But I think I will enjoy it. Ugh. Hell yeah. I like seeing Kelly be guardian. But you and I want the same thing. To do no harm. She's definitely not better without her in her life. Where were you when my brother blew my helicopter out of the sky? Oh, she wasn't there to save her. Where were you when this world was ripped apart by the seams? Where were you? I'm sorry I wasn't there when it mattered. <gasps> <gasps> So if she never knew Supergirl, she would have killed her. So literally everything is worse if they didn't know each other. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Got her. I wish they'd bring Sam back. You better hurry up and get that hat before Lena kills her. Finally, got her right before she died. She would have died in like seconds. She better be grateful for the present reality. It doesn't matter when I tell Lena the truth. There will always be consequences. Huge ones. If I can't go back and snap my mistakes away, I'm just gonna have to live with them. And make it better, dude. Put the effort into making it up to her. Improving yourself. Start the friendship all over again. You freed me from my burden of guilt, so... Go, be free. Oh. Use your magic to do whatever it is you do. Out there with you today, saving the world, I felt like, um, I felt like I was liked for being me. Uh -uh. That magic can't be forced. It has to be found. Aww. They better bring him back, like, every season. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
I feel like Kara just like spends all the time the like moping over Lena. Like make some actual effort into proving yourself. Like obviously she's being difficult and isn't gonna just forgive her, but like show her that she can trust you and that you regret it, you know? You're here to tell me once again that I should forgive you. Yes. Or maybe that I shouldn't work with my brother? Not this time. I recognize <clears throat> I made a mistake in hiding my identity from you for so long. I'm done blaming myself for your bad decisions. Oh. <laughs> You're accountable for your own actions. If you decide to forgive me, I will be there for you. But if you continue to work with Lex, then you I will are my enemy in my power to stop you. Oh shit. That is not how I thought this conversation was going to go. I bet you that's going to get through to her though. Cuz at the end of the day, she still loves her. Second guessing myself doesn't do any good. No. So if I make a mistake, I just have to move on. She does need to forgive God, herself. You've been with me she looks like a little kid, huh? The second I became super. <clears throat> They've been there from the beginning. Stronger together. Oh. <laughs> but everything would be better with Lena. That was f***ing good. Alright, there we go. That was season 5, episode 13 of Supergirl. This was so good. I love this episode. This is like classic Supergirl. Like the type of Supergirl that made me love this show. And I love that it was like solely focused on Lena and Kara's relationship. And her realizing like, that no matter what, there's always gonna be a cause and effect of stuff that happened. And honestly, I feel like as terrible as it was that she kept this from Lena, this was the best outcome out of any of them. In this, in this outcome, she can still prove herself and win Lena over again. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's never gonna be friends with her again. And I think, as much as I wasn't expecting it, I think that conversation at the end with them too, where she kind of said like, you're accountable for your own actions, I'm not gonna, blame myself every time you do something evil you know i think that that kind of showed lena that like the door is open for you i want to be your friend and i will be there for you i will help you through all these things but if you don't want to give me that chance then you're on the other team if you're not on my team you're on their team seeing mitzi again was so good too and i think the actor that they chose for this one was phenomenal their banter was perfect and i loved it seeing rain again was so cool and Sam I miss Sam I hate that they wrote her off I feel like they could have made her a main and like kept her on the show but yeah seeing everyone come back and Monel come back I miss him too like surprisingly I really do miss Monel and seeing everyone come back for this episode was fantastic and I feel like every season they should do some type of episode like this can't with the wig I think it's like terrible it looks so bad besides that I honestly love this episode this was so good I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10 I loved it. I'm really excited for the rest of the episodes of Getting Caught Up. I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.